do hearings all over the country. And I want to tell you, we have a bank, a huge bank of potential in all the communities around South Africa, from Harding to Izingloweni to Mashobashobane to Eshowe, all those places in the town where I've sat with communities and asked them, what are your major concerns? And they come up with exactly the same as you do, strangely enough. Our big worry is about our young people who don't have a future. But I want to tell you that in those communities, there is an imagination of how they can begin to shift it. So I want to say that part of what nestles in some of the poorest communities of our country is where the essence of hope is. But we've got to get there. We've got to be humble enough to go and sit and listen to the women in those communities who carry the seeds of wisdom for the future. Then, if I've got to come to the church, or shall I say, religious communities, and now forgive me if, I, if you're a religious person, um, we spend a hang of a lot of time singing and praying and managing to make our religion completely irrelevant to hunger. And actually, that's what religion is about. Let me come to my religion. And you come to four Gospels that are written. And in every Gospel, there's a story about Jesus feeding 5,000 people. So if you think you're going to achieve transformation as a religious organization in the synagogues or in the churches, dream again. But let me say this to you. In those institutions, every single week, there is access to communities that not even the government has. There are connections that gather in those places that if we used, and I don't think that we must do away with the worship of God and the rest of it, although I do know that God is not narcissistic or insecure. The one thing I'd like to say is if we used some of the time to strategize on the issues that you've raised as religious communities, we might eventually be able to contradict Marx's dictum, which was that religion is the opiate of the masses. And we might get back to the fundamentals. 